Overwatch has literally tens of thousands of possible interactions, but there may be none more important than the interactions between ultimate abilities and stuns. Sometimes a stun ends an ult quicker than a Genji main can spam. I need healing. Other times you sleep a nano blade and well, we all know what happens next. So what gives? What are the rules that dictate how each ultimate interacts with each stun? And if you think you know them already, unless your name is CarQ, you probably don't. Seriously, I found some weird ones. And if I'm wrong, you can brag about it in the comments section afterwards. Given Blizzard's new YOLO attitude towards adding CC back into the game, the rules are worth knowing. The key is understanding the four different types of ultimate in Overwatch. And sure, you could memorize a list of all 40 ults and all of their interactions, but I'll do you one better. If you watch to the end of the video, I'll give you a simple rhyming device to help remember. Sort of like I before E except after C, but instead of spelling, it helps with killing genetically modified hamsters and stuff. As I said, there are four ultimate types in Overwatch. Build prompt. Cast time. Transformation. And channel. It's First up, and the simplest to understand, are build prompt ultimates. These are ultimates that, surprise surprise, prompt you to build something. We're talking about Symmetra, Baptiste, and Lifeweaver. You press the ultimate button once to bring up the prompt and confirm to build at the highlighted location. You can cancel the prompt yourself and still retain the ultimate. And while getting stunned won't have any impact, it's helpful to remember that Symmetra and Baptiste ultimates are deleted by Sombra's EMP, while Lifeweaver's tree is immune. Easy, right? Now let's move on to cast time. As the name suggests, these are ultimates that have a cast time. A slight delay between the time you press Q, or Y, or triangle, or whatever button Nintendo decided goes where Y or triangle is supposed to be, and the time the ultimate is executed. During this time, getting stunned will cancel the ultimate. It's a very narrow window, but if the enemy goes all Luke Skywalker on your Death Star butthole, you're out of luck. However, once the cast is completed, there's nothing the enemy can do about it. Since the cast times are so short, there's not a lot of counterplay available without being clairvoyant. But when you see the windup of a stun ability like Doomfist charging his punch or Sigma throwing his rock, try not to panic and hit the ult button. The one exception to these rules is Kiriko, who doesn't lose her ult if stunned during its cast time, but does lose it if she's hacked or killed. We'll call this the Fox rule. If you're already stunningly cute, you can get a little bit of stun immunity. Malware though, that stuff's real. Watch out. Other heroes with cast time ultimates include Junkrat, Tracer, and Wrecking Ball. Moving along, Transformation. It might seem like all heroes are transformed by their ultimate, but this refers specifically to ultimates that modify or change a hero's hit points, weapons, abilities, or provide utility benefits, like Primal Rage, Dragon Blade, Rally, and Infrasight. Think of Transformation ultimates like Optimus Prime. They're big, they're bad, and your puny little punch ain't gonna do a thing. Nothing can stop these baddies but the sweet release of death. We're talking Genji. We're talking Soldier 76. We're talking Mercy. Once they press Q, or Y, or Triangle, or whatever button Nintendo decided goes where Y or Triangle is supposed to be. There's no going back. Your only options are kill or be killed. Or hide. Other heroes with transformation ultimates include Ramatra, Roadhog, and Sojourn. Finally, Channeled. Channel ultimates get their name because they are constantly being channeled while in use. While channeling, heroes are unable to use any other weapons or abilities. For example, during Barrage, Farah is suspended in midair, unable to use her jets. Or during Deadeye, Cassidy is unable to use his combat role, or whatever kind of grenade he has by the time you watch this video. If a hero is interrupted while channeling, the ultimate ends immediately. That's why one bonk, one slap, one yeet, and it's gone. So, if you've got a channel ultimate, don't try popping it in a Sigma's face. And if you're playing a hero with a stun, try tracking the enemies with channel ultimates and ruin their day. As of the publishing of this video, these are the only abilities that can cancel a channeled or cast time ultimate. Other heroes with channel ultimates include Reaper, Iliari, Bastion, and here's where it gets tricky. Arisa technically falls into this group. She can get interrupted out of her ultimate, but only by hack, since Fortify protects her from all other stuns. Then there are a few heroes that just straight up break the rules of channeled ultimates. We'll call them the problem children. But don't worry, we'll still fit them into our simple rhyming device. 
A great example is Moira, who used to be textbook channeled before the buff that allowed her to use Fade during Coalescence. You know, to get the TikTok views. There's also Sigma, who can still fire his hyperspheres during Gravitic Flux. These are still technically channeled ultimates and can be cancelled by stuns. And then there's Zenyatta, who does get locked out of all his other abilities, but can't have his ultimate interrupted by stuns. Ditto for Doomfist. To be honest, it's pretty hard to come up with a reason for all these exceptions. But I promised you a simple rhyme at the end, and I always keep my promises. Transformation ultimates will modify abilities, like over health or better swords or infrasight utility, or shorter cooldowns, bigger fists, and quicker leaps mobility. They can't be interrupted by a stun. No for you, lady. Cast time ultimates come with delays between points A and B, like striking dragons, shattered earth, recalled mechs, or EMP, or durable, adorable, make stuns ignorable, Kiri. Once the cast is finished, then no worries, babe. You're home free, but interrupted interims leave you with nothing. Misery. When channeled ultimates are used, they flow with power constantly, like Pharah's outburst. Reaper spin or asking time from Cassidy, but channeling restricts the use of all of their abilities, unless that hero's ultimate requires them to leave their feet. Like Sigma's Flux, which causes him to float above the moonlit street with spheres of firing, making others join him in pure agony. agony. Or coalescence coursing through the battle indiscriminately, with Moira's fate transporting her to new dimensions uh, uh, dark uh, uh, bleed. That's how you know these ultimates can be negated by CC. Exactly Check, that's right, I left out Doom entirely. Oh snap, that's twice! Okay, then hang on, bear with me! Two sentence takes in Yada 2 and Astral Plane with third IC, and two fists sent up to a plane that is most heavenly, so new planes of existence gives these heroes stun immunity. Now there's your simple rules to know which ult gets done. GG easy. And builders build stuff. Can you believe some people think Overwatch is complicated? Well, let me know in the comments if you already knew any of these rules. Videos like this take me a long time to make, so I don't know when the next one will be out, but if you hit subscribe, you'll be sure to know about it. In the meantime, you can catch me streaming over at twitch.tv slash I think that's obvious or on my socials. Thanks for watching.